This is News 8 at noon. But poor decision making, driven by politics, is impacting our ability to respond. I desperately fought time and again to avoid the situation we face today. In June, I well, a call for unity being sent across San Diego County by local leaders and medical experts in the ongoing fight against the coronavirus. Good afternoon and thank you so much for watching. I'm Heather Myers. And I'm Stella Escobedo. So amid the recent division and disagreement, they're reminding San Diegans to stay together, to stay safe, to stop the spread and prevent more restrictions. News 8's Evan Irani is tracking it for us. He's at the County Administration Building with what one county supervisor is saying. Good afternoon. That media conference just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago with Supervisor Nathan Fletcher and several leaders within the health community. And uh, their ideas were similar to those of Jim Desmond, where they've been going back and forth, Desmond and Fletcher, uh, both saying that they're here completely to support businesses and to help them along the way, but with very different approaches. Fletcher supports the idea of following along with the state's guidelines and listening to the tiered system, which uh, could potentially push us back into a more restrictive tier as of tomorrow, whereas Desmond believes that a lot of those businesses should be going against what the state guidelines are and reopening regardless of those rules. So take a listen to some of what uh, Nathan Fletcher had to say today. Contrary to what some of my colleagues are telling you, this pandemic was not caused by the state of California. Contrary to what some of my colleagues are telling you, this pandemic was not caused by Governor Gavin Newsom. It isn't the fault of San Diego State University, and it certainly isn't the fault of a color-coded metric system. So although some of their ideas are similar in their support of small businesses, there is a big difference in how they're going about handling the pandemic. Uh, Fletcher and uh, Desmond will be a part of a County Board of Supervisors meeting that takes place later on today, where they're still discussing the possibility of legal action against the state if we move backward into that more restrictive tier, that tier one. Uh, they believe that by excluding San Diego State University's case numbers, that we could securely stay firmly in that tier two that we're in right now and not be at danger of reverting back to tier one. So still no word whether or not a lawsuit is on the way between the county and the state. That next board of supervisors meeting is today and that small business rally is at 4 p.m. And then tomorrow we hear from the state on its next, its next assessment as to whether or not we remain in tier two or move backward into tier one.